Many people have asked, what is Trumpism? A new term being used more and more. I'm hearing that term more and more. I didn't come up with it. But what it means is great deals, great trade deals, great ones, not deals where we give away everything, our jobs, our money, like the USMCA replacement of the horrible NAFTA. NAFTA was one of the worst deals ever made, probably the worst trade deal ever made. And we ended it. You know, a lot of people forget we ended it. Now we have the US. MCA, Mexico, Canada. It's incredible what it's done for our farmers who are doing fantastically. Did you see grain prices and grain sales are at an all-time high? Wheat, all-time high. So many elements of farms and farmers, and they love me. And remember, it's going to be very close in Iowa. Well, it wasn't close. We won in a landslide, Iowa, because our farmers know, and they put up with it, and we did a lot of work with the tariffs and all these things that we had to do to get it, and now the farmers are doing great. But they're setting records. It means low taxes and eliminating job-killing regulations, Trumpism. It means strong borders, but people coming into our country based on a system of merit, so they come in and they can help us, as opposed to coming here and not being good for us, including criminals, of which there are many. It means no riots in the streets. It means law enforcement. It means very strong protection for the Second Amendment and the right to keep and bear arms. It means support for the forgotten men and women who have been taken advantage of for so many years, and they were doing great. They were doing great before that horrible thing from China came in and hit us, and now they're starting to do really well again. You know, if you think about it, we built the economy twice. We built it then, and then, like every other country in the world, it went down, and then we built it again. Now it's higher in many ways, certainly in the stock market, it's higher in many ways than it was before. That's because of the foundation and no country comes even close to competing with our comeback. And it means a strong military and taking care of our vets, but a strong military, which we have totally rebuilt. We have rebuilt it. And our military has never been stronger than it is today. It was tired, it was depleted, it was obsolete, and now we have the best brand new equipment ever made. And it was all produced right here in the USA. Isn't that nice? And we take care of our vets. You know, we had a poll recently, just before leaving office. The vets had a 91 percent approval rating for the way we took care of them. That's the highest number in the history of the polls, the vet polls. On top of all of that, we have even created the Space Force, the first new branch of the United States military in nearly 75 years. The mission of the Democrat Party is to promote socialism. They want to promote socialism, ultimately leading, unfortunately, to communism. And that will happen. If you look at Venezuela, you look at some of these countries, that's why some of our biggest supporters are from South America, Latin America, because they've seen what goes on with all of this cancel culture, and you can't speak, and let's cut them off, and let's not give them words. The mission of our movement and of the Republican Party must be to create a future of good jobs, strong families, safe communities, a vibrant culture, and a great nation for all Americans, and that's what we're creating. Their party is based upon unvarnished disdain for America, its past, and its people. You see that happening. It's horrible the way they treat the legacy of our country, the culture of our country. Our party is based on love for America and the belief that this is an exceptional nation blessed by God. We take great pride in our country. We teach the truth about history. We celebrate our rich heritage and national traditions. We honor George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Thomas Jefferson, and all national heroes. And of course, we respect 
our great American flag. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So nice. Together in the coming years, we will carry forward the torch of American liberty. We will lead the conservative movement and the Republican Party back to a totally conclusive victory. And we've had tremendous victories. Don't ever forget it. With your help, we will take back the House. We will win the Senate. And then a Republican president will make a triumphant return to the White House. And I wonder who that will be. I wonder who that will be. Who, who, who will that be, I wonder? Standing before you today, I am supremely confident that for our movement, for our party, and for our country, our brightest days are just ahead. And that together, we will make America prouder, freer, stronger, and greater than it ever has been before. Thank you, CPAC. God bless you, and God bless America. Thank you all. Thank you.